That's a big question, right? <laughs> What's the purpose of life? Well, as a 16-year-old, it's a really big question for me because what do I do with the rest of my life? Why do I wake up in the morning? Why do I go to school? Why do I wake up at 6.30 this morning? <sighs> and these questions, they all fall under the question of purpose in our life. So in the last few months, I've uh, weirdly been asking people of different ages what they think their purpose in life is. Now, most of them just thought I was like, you know, crazy or something like that. But, but some of them gave me an answer, and this kind of inspired my curiosity. So I did a little bit of research, and I happened to stumble upon this quote. Thank you, Mom. Uh, and it was by Aristotle. So, where talents and the needs of the worlds cross, therein lies your vocation. Now, this kind of excited me, because it provided a path to finding a little bit of an answer to this question that people have deb been debating about or personally debating about for their whole life. So what's important about this? Well, it gives you direction and it brings up questions like what role does talent and passion have to play in your life? So to help you understand my thoughts, I'm going to use an example from Muslim history. So do anyone know who the Dais were? Let's see a raise of hands. All right. All right. Just just to reiterate, uh, dais are teachers, and they share the interpretation of Islam, especially Ismailis. They were polymaths, which means that they were skilled in a variety of manners, such as math, philosophy, science, economics, business, and much more. They all had their passions, but they also had a bigger purpose. One specific example of a Dai is Nasir Khosrow. He was a philosopher and a scholar. He started as a tax collector, but he was always a deep thinker. He searched for existential questions, and by 40, 40 he found his answers with the Ismaili Dawah. His purpose was sharing his learning and being a teacher. Another example is a guy named Hassani Sabah. He was also a Dai. At the time, his community were refugees. They needed a place to stay. So he found this place called the Fort of Alamut. It served the needs of the people. And the leaders at the time didn't really care about their people. So here he saw an opportunity. He combined his passion for social justice with his purpose, finding a place for his community to stay. He helped Alamut. He grew an orchard. He provided them with a water supply. And he took over without any bloodshed. He made a safe haven and a model to find a state. The Saljuk leader at the time, who was the former leader of Alamut before Hassani Sabah, he didn't serve the people who needed him. Hassani Sabah did what he loved, and uh, it was for the larger purpose of his community. So how did these guys find their passion? How did they find their purpose in life? Well, I came to the conclusion that they asked the question, who am I? So what does asking who you are do? Well, it gives direction to what you enjoy doing in life, also known as your passions. Of course, you're going to have multiple passions in your life, and exploring them can help you find purpose. For Nasir Khusro, just finding the Ismaili faith was not the end. It was sharing it, which spoke to him as an intellectual and a polymath. So, let's go to the next slide, sir. Uh, so, Aristotle, second part of the quote, talks about the needs of the world. Now, although we have, may have more than one purpose in life, I believe that we have an overarching one, an obligation to this world and humanity. In the end, we all live in the same place, and we're all interconnected. His Highness the Aga Khan, spiritual leader of the Ismaili faith and descendant of the Prophet, has the responsibility of improving the quality of life of his marids or his followers. And in the process, anyone else in those communities their quality of life is boosted. This is a great example for what you sh guys, sh everyone should do. Everyone should help others that they are close to, but at the same time, help the community around them. Because in that sense, everyone is gaining. So asking questions such as who am I can lead to finding your passions and ultimately combining that with helping others. Both the Nasir Khosrow and Hassani Sabah were quintessential role models finding passions, and improving the world. So, if any of you want to take anything away from this talk, especially if you're falling asleep or zoning out, <laughs> then find what you enjoy 
Incorporate it in your everyday life. Use your talents and passions to serve something bigger than just yourself. Everyone here today is the present and future of this world. We need to create the world that we want to live in. In his speech at the parliament, the Canadian parliament, His Highness the Aga Khan stated, the Canadian spirit resonates with a cherished principle in Shia Ismaili culture. The importance of contributing one's individual energy on a volunteer basis to improving the lives of others. This is not a matter of philanthropy, but rather of self-fulfillment, enlightened self-fulfillment. Improving the world, it's not charity. It's fulfilling your potential as a human being. As you go through this conference today, may I suggest suggest, that you draw inspiration from the messages that are shared. Notice how all the talks involve identity, passion, and improving the world. Be curious, explore your talents and passions, and help yourself and this world. Thank you.